Hi friends, welcome. My name is Miss Liz and I'm the Director of Children's Ministry for Bay Lake United Methodist Church. I will be here today, July 11th, to talk to you about how we are adopted into God's family. So in the Old Testament, which means the part of the Bible before Jesus was born, we hear about God's chosen family. And this family um, was selected by God and started by Abraham. And Abraham was promised by God that if he listened to God and obeyed God, that God would make a great nation out of his descendants. And so Abraham was part of God's chosen family. But Jesus changed everything when he came into this world. When Jesus died on the cross, he died for the entire world's sins, not just the Jewish people. So that means that you and I can be part of God's family no matter what our heritage is, no matter what family we've come from, we can be part of God's family. So have you ever heard the word adopted before? Maybe your family adopted a dog or a cat, or maybe you have a sibling that is adopted, or maybe you are even adopted. When someone is adopted into a family, it means they are loved and welcomed, just like one of their own. It actually takes a lot of work today to adopt a child. Families have to go through tons of paperwork, background checks, and interviews to make sure they are able to take care of that child and love that child, just like they would love their own child. So this means families must be extremely dedicated to receive the child they are adopting. Do you know that God went through a lot of work to adopt you into his family? That's right. God knew before the beginning of the world that he wanted you to be part of his family. The Bible says that you were predestined for sonship. That means God was determined to adopt you into his family even before the world was created. God wants you to be part of his family. But being adopted doesn't mean you're no longer part of your own family. It means you're also part of God's family. So I'm gonna show you an object lesson about how God is adding to our lives. Once we're part of God's family, he is part of our everyday lives and he only brings good things into our lives. So um, we hear in the Bible in Ephesians 1, which is a letter to the church of Ephesus written by Paul, um, that says, once you're adopted into God's family, you were sealed with the promise of the Holy Spirit. That means God is going to send you something. Jesus told his disciples before he ascended and, or rose back into heaven that he was sending them something. And so the Holy Spirit is what Jesus was sending. And so um, God is going to add to your life. He's going to add the Holy Spirit to our lives. And so I have this glass of milk. And I want you to think about this glass of milk kind of like our lives. Milk is good. Things are going well for this milk, right? So this glass of milk is great on its own. No one is saying milk isn't good. It tastes delicious. It's high in calcium. And that's good for your bones. It's high in vitamin D, which is good to help you grow muscles. But when milk is added to, it can even get better. So I have chocolate syrup right who doesn't like chocolate milk so when we add our chocolate syrup to our milk it's still milk right add a little more chocolate syrup nothing's been taken away from it but now it tastes even better right it's still milk but it's different it's chocolate milk oh man, I love chocolate milk. So that is the offer God is making to us. To be part of God's family, we don't have to leave the family we already love and are part of. We just get to add to our lives. We get to add something better. We get to add the chocolate syrup to our milk, right? We have, we have the privilege to be to being part of God's family. When we become part of God's family, Ephesians 1 says that we are offered grace, forgiveness, redemption. Redemption means to make something better or improve it. Just like I redeemed this milk right here, right? By adding chocolate to it. Through the sacrifice Jesus made, we have been adopted into the family of God. 
by Jesus dying on the cross and forgiving us from our sins, we now get to be part of God's kingdom. We get to spend eternity in heaven with God because Jesus loved us so much, he didn't want to spend eternity without us. And so life's even better with Jesus in it. And I don't know about you, but I sure prefer my life full of Jesus and chocolate milk. I pray that you are happy and healthy and safe. I pray that you'll join us again next week online or in person for worship service. And I hope that you have a wonderful week of summer ahead of you. May God bless you and keep you safe and enjoy your chocolate milk. Bye.